What's up guys, my name is Javi and welcome to another tutorial today. Haven't done one in a while and speaking of tutorials, I'm going to continue my how to use Photoshop series very soon. I just want to take a little break from that series and do kind of a different tutorial for you guys today. So anyways, let's open up Cinema 4D. The tutorial is going to be in Cinema 4D today and it's going to be a pretty short tutorial but a pretty helpful tutorial as well. And it is going to be how to import .ai or Illustrator files, this program right here, into Cinema 4D and make them 3D and just make them look extravagant. So anyways, I'll just go ahead and open up my Lightroom. You guys don't have to have a Lightroom, but I'm just going to prefer mine just because this is the one that I use every single time I enter Cinema 4D. We'll just delete the text because that's not needed, you know, so we're not going to be using text. So anyways, once you have a Lightroom open, or you just don't even have to have one at all, what you want to do is go to, if you don't have Lightroom open, then you're going to go to File Open. But if you have one open, then you're going to go to File Merge. So obviously I'm going to go to Merge. And then what you're going to want to do, well, let me close out all of these because I don't need them. What you're going to do is go to where you have your .ai files saved, which I happen to have mine in my graphics pack. And then I go to AI files. And then we can go ahead and pick one. And of course I'm going to pick my fabulous team, Team Envious right here. This is the Team NV logo that I have in the Illustrator file. <clears throat> now, as you can see, there's a white outline, no 3D, no special effects at all. To get the special effects of 3Dness and you just all throwsy, cell render, whatever you want to do to it, you want to hit this little plus icon right here, and then it's going to bring two paths down below. Make sure you have the NV selected, the or you know, your your logo layer, and then you want to click, you want to hold down Shift and then click path 2 so now you have all three of them selected or you can just select one and then can press command or control whatever you know operating system you're on and then click on the other two so it'll highlight make sure you have all of your paths highlighted and your logo highlighted and then you want to right click and connect objects and then you can go ahead and delete all of these three because they will not be needed and as you can see, you have one solid logo of your logo. And then from there, you want to go to this little square right here. Hold it down, hold down your click, and drag your click over to Extrude Nerbs. And then from there, you want to take your logo, and you want to push it up to the Extrude Nerbs. Make sure that down arrow is pointing down towards the square, and release. Now it will turn black, but now what you want to do is go to the Extrude Nerbs, and enter a depth. Now I usually do about 250 to 300. And as you can see, it is 3D. And then from there, you can add, you know, a cool texture or something. Which, in order to do this, uh, you need to do this. So, as you can see, as I pre-render this out, there is my cool-looking Envy logo with a cool-looking texture on it, and it's 3D and everything. So that's how you import .ai or Illustrator files into Cinema 4D. Very easy tutorial. But if you guys did find this tutorial helpful, or you know great or anyway please leave a nice rating on this video a like would be very much appreciated also if you're new please subscribe and like leave a nice comment down below if you get if this guys helps you if this helps you out or you can recommend any tutorials in the future so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and i'll see you guys later peace out